Today we're going to be looking at what's new in Sage 300 2017. Uh, we're going to start with the notes portion. Sage 300 2017 now gives you the ability to have notes in accounts receivable um, on your customer, on your um, accounts payable vendor, and also on each item. If I go into a customer, as soon as I add a customer number, a little notes icon will pop up. to be able to add or view notes on that customer. Um, to create a new note, I click on create note. It also gives you the ability to do a little bit of formatting, which you see along the top. These are the three areas where I was speaking about that you can have uh, different notes on customers, vendors, and items. Who modified the note? And also if there is a change on this note, it would also show the date of that modification. If I wanted to have an active date, I can have um, this note appear only for a certain amount of time. Let's say if I only wanted to have this note until the end of the month and whether I'm allowing the user to dismiss the note, yes or no. Now what's nice about this note, I've added it in my AR customer, but if I go over into order entry, as soon as I add that customer in the order entry, my note pops up for that customer. While I'm on the order entry screen, I will also show you um, what's changed in order entry and also accounts receivable. Um, you have the ability to process cr uh, credit cards much quicker if you're using the Sage payment processing. For example, I'm, a I'm entering an invoice and I want to do a prepayment. Let me just select my bank that has the credit cards attached. From here, it allows me to charge and even do a quick charge to my credit card right from this screen. And it will process my credit card right away. Now this is also in the receipt entry screen. Another process in the AR transaction, which is process credit card payments. When I do go into this screen, I can take a look at all invoices due on or for a specific period. And it will list all um, invoices for all customers. Here I have 1100, 1105. So I can go through and do many credit card processing rather than doing them one by one. In order to be able to use this screen, I do need to go into each customer. And I do need to approve them for autom automatic payments. I would go into the customer, go to the credit card, just open up my credit card information and make sure the approve for automatic payments is selected here. As soon as I select that, then that customer, any open transactions will be shown on this process credit card payment screen. In the batches, you now have um, the ability to post all transactions. So let's say, for example, I had many transactions um, in the screen. Uh, rather than just selecting one, I can select all the different transactions that I want if here I only have one but I could go and select many transactions and do a post all also when I'm in a transaction as soon as I've entered an invoice or a receipt directly after I've entered my transaction I can click post right away I also have a new feature in the sage intelligence uh, sage intelligence has made available more reports um, currently, when you opened up your Sage Intelligence, you did see a list of reports that come um, out of the box. 
Now included um, in what you would see out of the box, when installed, you'll have a Sage Intelligence Utility. If I click on this, it's going to show me all the reports that are available. Then I can choose any of these reports that I want to add to my collection of reports. I, I can select all. I can just go through it and select a few. I click download and it will place that new report directly into my Sage Intelligence. So now when I open up my Sage Intelligence, I would see that new report that I selected in my new reports. Another helpful item in Sage 300 is the current users. I now have the ability to see what other users are in the system. I can also take a look at that user and what screens they have open. One other item, if I have the rights, I can select a user and I can sign out that selected user directly from this screen. The DB dump and DB load uh, where Sage allows you to make a copy. It also allows you to re-import re a copy of your database or import uh, your live database into a test company. It is now no longer only the admin user who can do that function. Uh, the administrator can now give the ability to do a dump and load to a specific user. So going into the administrative services, you just assign database load and database dump to the users you want to give that ability. Those are the new features in Sage 300 2017. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.